All right, guys, so I've been getting a few comments and questions being sent to me via PM and in comment sections on multiples of my videos, specifically about how you would go about uninstalling the kernel for Project Eris if you wanted to revert your PlayStation Classic back to stock. Now, you may be doing this for many different reasons. One of them is because maybe you are looking to sell the device and you just want it to be as factory close as possible. So this is going to be a tutorial just to quickly show you guys the proper way to get this uninstalled and it doesn't take very much time at all. So all we need to do is make sure that our Project Eris USB drive is plugged into our computer. As you guys can see, I've got mine right over here. And it's important to note that even if we uninstall the kernel on the PlayStation Classic, it's not gonna change anything about our USB drive. If we ever want to reinstall it, all we need to do is remove the file that we're going to add on, pop our USB drive in, and allow it to reinstall. Now that being said, all we need to do is create an uninstall file. There's actually nothing really to it. What we need to do is go ahead and open up our notepad. And once we've got Notepad opened up, we're going to go to File, and we're going to Save As. And in Save As, we're going to leave it on our desktop, and we need to change the file type. So it says Save As Type, and we need to change that to All Files. And for the file name, you're going to have to label it exactly how I type it up. It's going to be the word UNINSTALL in all caps and in quotations. So we've got our quotation mark, then UNINSTALL, and then our quotation mark again. That's exactly it. No extension, no nothing else. We just need to make sure the file name is exactly the way you see it here. Then we're going to go ahead and save it to our desktop. And this file is now complete. We can go ahead and close that. And I'm just going to pull my uh, file over here. So here it is. If it says uninstall dot txt or anything like that you've done it incorrectly you need to go back and recreate a new file as you can see when i hover over it it just says the type is file that's what we're looking for now on our usb drive we're going to go into our project underscore eras folder and we're going to go into our flags folder from here we're going to go ahead and grab our file and just dump it in now there isn't anything else that we have to do the next step that we need to do is grab our usb drive and pop it into our playstation classic so it's important to note that when you are loading this up onto the PlayStation Classic that you make sure that there is no power cord connected and you pop it into the second USB port. Now it is important to note that the USB drive must be compatible with the power requirements for the PlayStation Classic. So if you're using a hard drive or something like that, it's not going to work. You're going to need to do this on a USB 2.0 or something along those lines. Once the USB is plugged in, we now have to connect the power cord in and we're going to wait for the amber light to turn on. Now, once that's on, we're ready to go ahead and press the power button. And when we press the power button, there's going to be a couple things happening. First on the screen, Project Eris is going to load up and it's going to uninstall the kernel. And it's going to give you the prompts right on screen. Additionally, while this is all happening, if you look at the PlayStation Classic, your power light is going to be flashing between red and amber. Again, this is completely normal, totally fine. When the uninstallation is complete, you'll see up on the screen that it is done and you need to remove your USB drive and remove the power from the back of the console. And at that point, you are back to stock. So we're going to go ahead and load up our PlayStation Classic just to be sure that the Project Eris kernel is no longer there. All right, so here we are on our main screen for the PlayStation Classic. Now, it's important to note that all we did was remove the kernel. We did not wipe this back to factory. So as you can see on certain games, I'm still going to have any save states that I would have had prior to the hack happening. So keep that in mind. This is not a factory wipe. This is just specifically to remove the kernel that we installed when we first got Project Eris up and running. But other than that, we are good to go. Now, I don't show this on camera, but I do have my Project Eris build plugged in via OTG on the back of the console just to test to make sure it wasn't going to boot up and it doesn't. So we do know that this is 100% functioning and this is what you're going to want to do if you want to remove the Project Eris kernel. Please feel free to share this with anybody who's been asking how to uninstall Project Eris from their PlayStation Classic. This is the fastest and easiest way to do it. If somebody wants specifically to factory wipe their console, they need to follow this video and then they need to scroll on down to the settings section and there is a button called initialize console. Once you do that, it's going to set everything back to your factory settings. It's going to wipe out all of your save states. It'll be as though you took this thing fresh out of the box. But that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so very much for watching and I'll talk to you guys again real soon.